Good morning, class. It's Friday. This is our Friday lecture. Uh, I'm still locked out of my Google account, so I haven't got your grades posted yet, but I will do that as quickly as I can. Today, I want to talk about Newton's method for solving a system of nonlinear equations. We've already looked at Newton's method for solving a single equation, and here's the form that we had. Uh, the function evaluated at the new root guess, which we said was going to be closer than the old one, and approximately zero is equal to fx old plus the derivative of the function evaluated at the old root guess times delta x. Uh, this is all equal to zero, so we manipulated it and got it down to a form where delta x was equal to the negative fx old divided by the derivative of the function at x old. So today what we're going to do is utilize this for a syst two systems, two equations, and two unknowns. So I've got two equations. The first is e1 is equal to 2x squared plus e to the y is equal to 3.6487. And then e2 is cosine pi x minus 3y squared is equal to negative 1.75. And I'm looking for the value of x and y where these two curves intersect. Uh, for most of us, I don't know about you, but when we get into multiple dimensions, three and four dimensions, where it's impossible for us to see what's going on in space. So we want a systematic way to solve these equations of multiple equations and multiple unknowns. So I'm going to put in a root guess of one and one, and I'm going to cast the equations in residual form. So when I put in the root guess, I won't get zero. I'll get some other value. So plugging in for E1, I get R1 is equal to 3.71828. I get for R2, evaluated at 1, 2. So using Newton's equation now, instead of just having a single function, I've got a vector of two unknown equations evaluated at the new root guess. And again, we'll say that's approximately equal to 0. That's equal to R1 and R2 evaluated at the old root guess. Just these values here are 3.71828 and 2.0. Now the big difference is the derivative of the function is now a two by two matrix, not a not a scalar number. So when I plug in x1 and y1 uh, for this initial root guess, I'll get a two by two coefficient matrix. So I come down here and I evaluate the derivative terms. So the derivative a11 is the derivative of r1 with respect to x. That's simply 4x. The derivative of r1 with respect to y is simply e to the y. The derivative of r2 with respect to x is a negative pi x times sine x, or negative pi times sine pi x. And a22 is simply negative 6y. So when I plug in x1 is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, I get these four values, 2.718284, 4, 0, and negative six. Now these are the coefficient or the Hessian matrix. So what I'm going to do is solve for not x and y, but delta x and delta y. So when I solve this two by two system, I get delta x is equal to negative seven point zero point seven five four seven five, and negative I guess that's two thirds point six six seven repeating. And now I'm going to update x nu and y nu and just go to the next iteration. For next Friday, I would like for you guys to solve this two by two system, starting with an initial guess of one and one, and just carry this operation on until you get a numerically zero value. Now we're at the point where we can just barely get Excel to do, us, do what we want. So starting next week, we'll be looking at ActiveX control and VBA controls in Excel. So please look in chapter 13 of your textbook. It's not much help. I'll have some other online tutorials for you guys to look at. Y'all have a good weekend. Thank you.